When it comes to fitness, there are certain things that you may be doing that you think are good, but they're actually holding you back. And then there are other things that you maybe haven't even thought about doing at all. So this video is going to change the game for you because it's going to be telling you little things here and there that you could consider dropping and certain things you could consider picking up and adding to your fitness lifestyle. Before we jump into the do's and the don'ts, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It just, it makes my world better. I, I love it when you do that. Number one, don't. Don't snack on nuts. I know nuts are very healthy. They're good for your heart. They're good for your skin. They're amazing, but they are not snacks. Do not fall into the habit of thinking you can just buy a bag of churro mix, a bag of nuts, and just you know snack on them all day. That's a bad idea. Think of nuts almost like vitamins. They're good for you. You should definitely consume them, but you don't need to be eating nuts unless you're a toddler. If you eat nuts as snacks, you run the risk of eating way too many calories. And if you're eating more calories than your body needs, you're not going to reach your goals. You're not going to look the way you want to look. You're not going to feel the way you want to feel. So instead, <laughs> instead of snacking on nuts, I'm laughing because the do is going to be something you're not going to like, but I'm just going to tell you that all the do's and don'ts I'm going to share with you today they are organized from easy to difficult so this is actually one of the easier things I'm gonna be telling you today so instead of snacking on nuts snack on vegetables don't come for me don't come for me I'm just telling you instead of snacking on nuts snack on some carrots they're crunchy they're sweet they're good for you they're very hard to overeat they will help you reach your goals faster you're welcome don't shoot the messenger I'm Number two, don't stretch a cold body. A cold body is a body that just got out of bed. A cold body is a body that's been sitting in a chair for four hours out of the day. A cold body does not want to be stretched and you shouldn't be stretching a cold body. You're going to snap your muscles and your ligaments and you're going to be in pain. You don't want to do that. Instead, do stretch a warm body. This is why you should never, ever, ever skip your cool down after your workouts, even if you're in a hurry. Do something, stretch. If you're doing my videos, I even encourage you to stretch after the video is over. Stay there and stretch out your booty. You need it. After doing all those glute bridges, you will need it. Stretch it. But seriously though, if you're super, super in a hurry and you can't really stretch after your workouts, something else you can do is you can get into the habit of taking warm showers at night and stretching after your shower. This is something I do. I stretch after my workouts every day. And also before I go to bed at night, I take a really hot shower. And when I come out, I stretch for five to 10 minutes. And it's a great relaxing way to you know go to sleep at night number three don't don't tense your shoulders when you are doing planks a lot of you guys hate planks almost almost as much as you hate burpees and push-ups and i kind of understand it but one of the reasons you hate planks so much is probably because you're activating the wrong muscles a lot of you i have seen this even with people that i've trained like in person i've seen this tensing off the shoulders like that during a plank unnecessary tense your core suck your abs in engage these muscles down here to do your planks instead also still on the planks do give yourself time to build into being able to hold your planks for a longer period of time don't think you're going to go from never exercising to holding a one minute plank it doesn't work that way give yourself time to grow into it do five seconds 10 seconds 20 seconds 30 seconds and be a pro feel like a bus number four don't wing your cheat meals your cheat meal is something you do one percent of the time to help you be on track 99 percent of the time that one percent of the time can totally undo all the work you have been doing all week if you're not careful so the same way you plan your healthy meals do plan your cheat meals if your cheat day is friday you should know by wednesday night exactly what you're going to be eating at 12 p.m that Friday. Is it three slices of pizza and a tub of ice cream? Not saying that was my last cheat meal. I'm just saying, plan your cheat meals. Number five, do not get comfortable with exercising anything less than five to six days a week. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. I'm just the messenger. Now listen, I'm not saying you should go from zero to 100 right away. If you're new to exercise, it's okay to start with one day a week, two days a week, three days a week, but don't aim to stay there. Do aspire to getting to the point where you're exercising five to six days a week. And those five to six days a week don't have to be workouts that kill you. It could be 10 minutes. It could be five minutes. It could be two minutes. Do something every single day. The goal here is to build the habit 
of daily exercise so it can be something you do into your 60s and 70s and you'll be looking snatched who doesn't want to be a snatched grandma that's the goal that's the goal right there grandma looking fly with gray hair <laughs> number six don't try to lose weight or get fit with diet alone. A lot of people say that abs are made in the kitchen. It's 80% diet, 20% exercise. I think both of them are wrong. It is 100% diet, 100% exercise. That's like saying being a decent person is 80% showers and 20% brushing your teeth. No, 100% you need to take a shower, 100% you need to brush your teeth. Same thing with working out. This analogy is not making sense, but we're just gonna roll with it. You gotta exercise and you have to eat well. It's both. You can't escape. There is no cheating. It's not even a thing. If you think that you can cheat the human body and only diet and not exercise forever, you're kidding. You gotta exercise. You exercise because if you don't exercise, your muscles atrophy. They get smaller, they don't do what they're supposed to do, you're at high risk of injury, and the worst part is the more you diet, the harder it is to get the same result. So you put in double the effort, pay double the money, do double the work and get half the results that you used to get the first time you dieted five years ago. Whereas you could just exercise. And when you exercise, it's the opposite. It's hard when you start, but the farther you get into a consistent exercise routine, the easier it gets. Your body gets stronger, you get stronger. You can do your one hour workout in 30 minutes. You can do the same amount of work in less time because you're just stronger. It just snatched, it just awesome. So do your workouts. Don't listen to those people taking shortcuts. Be the tortoise, not the hare. These analogies are not making sense. And speaking of dieting, our number seven point, don't rely on diet and exercise alone. Let me explain. If you are a person that's working out, eating clean, doing everything right, but you're still gaining weight, you're still not getting the results you want, you need to pause and reevaluate. Maybe there's something deeper going on for you. It could be your hormones that are going off. It could be your thyroid that has an issue. It could be cholesterol, high blood pressure. You just never know. And it doesn't hurt to go get evaluated by a medical doctor to help you out, get professional help. Don't be out here playing Russian roulette with your health. If you're doing everything right and not getting results, that's a huge red flag that there may be something deeper happening and you need to get tested. Get your blood test, your cholesterol checked, your blood pressure checked, your thyroid checked, your vitamin D levels checked, your calcium levels checked. Check everything. Talk with your doctor. Tell them what's going on. Get help. I know that health insurance is crap in a lot of countries, but you are worth the $200, $300, however much it's gonna take to make sure you are healthy, you're happy, your mind is right, your body's tight, and you're ready to take over the world. That's all I have to say. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave me comments. I, I eat comments for breakfast. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Check out my website, kabokofitness.com. I have amazing programs that will help you with belly fat, growing your booty, staying consistent with your routine, being an awesome person. You know, <clears throat> check it out. Bye, guys.